Hello people, today we're going to do a let's play of Minecraft for our channel Scripted. And I'm going to do this more like a tutorial kind of. Um, kind of show you some things that I've learned over time. I'm going to create a new world. So uh, if you're just starting to play this game or you've played it for a while, just follow along. And let me know if I'm missing anything or if you have any extra questions. Thanks. So we're going to try to keep these uh, episodes like 30 minutes-ish. So, when you're starting playing Minecraft, um, you want to basically create a new world. You have a few options here. You can do hardcore, creative, survival. Um, I, I'm just going to go straight survival. Uh, but hardcore basically means if you die, you don't get to reload your map at all. Your map is gone forever. Creative, you basically have all cheats on. You're flying, you can create whatever you want. Blocks instantly get destroyed when you hit them. So we're going to do survival. You also have more world options. You can change some of these things if you want, like allowing cheats on, bonus chests, world type. You know, you can go from that to super flat, to large binomes. So we're just going to go conventional. So let's just call it... call it that in Gorg's world. <laughs> uh, go to create new world. After that you're um, going to be uh, loading the world. Shouldn't take that long. By the way I'm using Westeros Craft which is a nice little texture pack that I uh, found online. Uh, not too bad. I, I like the look of uh, everything for the most part. So you're starting off basically with nothing. Um, few things to know is the sun over there is in the west, or east, and it sets in the west over there. Um, you want to look around and set out some priorities for your first night. Um, <coughs> for instance, you're going to need a crafting table, so let's go ahead and we want to, well, we should probably harvest another tree, and then, um, we should find a place to basically set up a dinner camp, just to start. So, we'll just harvest this next tree, taking quite a bit of time. Later on, you'll get axes and stuff that you can, uh, basically use to cut down trees faster. We'll go into that in a few. Also, while you're out and about, you might as well just explore your land a little bit, see what kind of resource you, resources you have around you. We have a little bit of sugar cane right here. Go ahead and harvest that. We can set up a farm later, which I'll go over the exact specifics of sugar cane farm. So the controls are ba pretty basic. I mean, you use the mouse to look around. Left click to right click to set. So, like that, which I should have not done there. Um, and WSDA to move around, or to actually, you know, change your speed walking and whatnot. Um, <coughs> if you double click your forward button, you run, or sprint if you want to call it that. Jump in lava, it's not cool. Um, but yeah, you just can run. I'm trying to look for some food mainly for my first night, just so. And I mean, we have some time. The sun's not even midday yet. We will be fine. We can also look around for potential, like, good little hot. Ooh! NPC village. That could have just changed the whole game. NPC village right in our face. This is great. Um, don't worry, stealing things is not bad in this game. Um, it's bad in real life. I really suggest not to steal things in real life. But yeah, we have an NPC village here. This is really good. And um, some of the textures are not loading because it's just Minecraft. And yep, chickens. You can definitely farm them. 
Click NPCs, they offer trades. This is a. If you're, you don't have a nether portal and you feel like wasting emeralds, that's a good trade. But we'll go over those, the idiosyncrasies of uh, trading in this game later. First of all, I mean, we're still trying to figure out what's going on. Right now, we're gathering wheat so we can make some bread. We'll, we'll, we might as well replant if we're going to use this place as a base. If you notice, the blue bar, you have two bars, first of all. Well, three, technically, you can go over each one, but the blue bar is your food bar. The food bar, when it goes down all the way, you will, uh, you will be start losing health and eventually die. The red bar is your health, so you just want to keep an eye on that. Um, now I'm lagging a little bit because running straps is not is necessarily the easiest thing to make. I mean, it's pretty easy, but you can still have issues doing it. Um, especially if you know, your computer is not fully optimized, or if you have any other thing running in the background. Um, this is a good spot to spend the night. There are some sheep out there. I think I'm going to just go with and get some wool so we can make a bed. Um, and I'll show you the first initial steps of crafting. Let's find the sheep again. Yeah, lots of lag. Maybe you're seeing it. I'm. Uh, I might have to turn down the actual, actual frames mode. Okay, trying to find the sheep again. Okay, we're able to do it. It looks like. I usually my first night I won't really worry about making a bed, but because of the NPC village, I just find it's a great idea. Now notice, uh, my food's going down, I should really consider actually crafting my craft table now. So craft table, you first get wooden planks, as you saw, and you do it in four, there's your crafting table, you can set it down, let's make some bread, let's make a, lots of bread right now. I usually don't do this this early on in any local village. Bill, 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 We're back at full hunger. Now we need three wool for a bit. Um, I got one. for the bed, and then I'll go over what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to head back to the village. I have to take down the crafting table. And tonight, I mean, we could be pretty busy working on some stuff, but I think we're just going to establish our home base. I mean, we could dig into the house and find out what's under it. But I, I noticed a lot of caves around, so I think I'm, we're just going to go early on cave hunting. We need to get some coal. We need to get some uh, iron. Um, and start crafting our weapons. And I'll show you exactly how to do all that. It's really simple stuff. This game was pretty intimidating when I uh, first started it. Um, you know, you just start out with nothing, and you're expected, you know, to survive. It's, it's kind of a scary experience. So I know I said we were going to use some different weapons. I guess we can use this. It doesn't matter. We just need some. Yeah, that is a special tool. We can just use it. So, we have the house. Let's get the crafting table down. So, bed is the first. So, one, two, three. One, two, and three. our bed or our house, we could do some quick like looking around, see what we got near the village before night falls. Got a little cave in there, that's not exactly what I'm doing correctly. Got 
pull some iron. Now, I never suggest going to a cave to without lighting torches, especially when it's about to be night. There's definitely zombies about. Well, they like people that eat them, but let's just go ahead and pull a few stacks here. Now, this is um, sticks, obviously. Those sticks. Uh, we're going to make a pickaxe. Now, <coughs> this should be the only wo wooden tool you need if you do the job correctly. So, let's go ahead and harvest this stuff. This is not a bad start for the game out. Usually, I have a lot of issues finding good spot for the first resource. Now, notice, uh, don't ever dig that way, like that, or straight above. Dig to the right or left. I mean, I might sometimes make that mistake, um, but you're, it, you could fall in lava and die, you could fall through the planet, you wouldn't know, so. So, we're going to make some torches. You need coal and sticks, or you can get charcoal. I'll show you how to make charcoal, too, in just a sec. Actually, I need cut down more food for that. So now we got a little home base in here. Remember, never do that. So we'll go ahead and mine this stuff out before it gets dark out there. We might be a little late for the to start dark, maybe. I'm also going to harvest this stone here. Not a lot of it. We're just going to upgrade our residual zombieism that's going on. It may be a good thing. But it is a possibility. So we're going to go ahead and collect some more bread because we're going to eventually get to the world. You can really just exploit this whole area we're doing for right now. And then start planning out our next game. We're going to pimp this place out. I don't know exactly if we're going to use this village or go to a different place, but we're definitely going to have some big plans. Um, I would like to uh, make an NPC village. That would be pretty cool. So that same configuration with wood. We'll choose a cobblestone for that. We'll go back down to the, our little mine. Believe me, this is not the biggest mine almost in the, in the set. So. There will be a lot of strip mining, which we'll build into. Village. See, this is iron, and I'll show you what you do with iron. Um, we're going to need more cobblestone for what we're going to do with it. Whoop. That's an enemy.
how long that took to kill, to kill uh, usually enemy shouldn't take that long, but I have like literally no sword, no nothing. See, if I was standing on top of that going through, I would have died. That's not true. Let's just use up the rest of this uh, piece of crap I'm going to use. We're never going to make a wooden pickaxe or a wooden tool. The villager is not a smart guy. He is standing here looking at this cave and pondering. Look at the pondering. Yes, walk away. You're not going to enjoy your time there. You should probably make some kind of sort of kill job for right now for the villagers. Because they will come in here and Walk down this hole and die. Maybe they won't jump down too soon, because that wouldn't be good. We'll climb. It's not a big deal either way. Villagers will respond later with uh, their AI and things. Because I, if, okay, if I lived near here real, in real life, I would not go down there. No, no way. It's a bad idea. Continual pampering. <laughs> See, <coughs> this is what happens when you have kind of like a like that. You need a hoe to fix that. So. I have only want to, especially in early game, you want to cut only the crops that are already developed. So if you I mean you're just wasting time cutting other crops, you just have to basically replant them. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's no, no. It has a chance, but yeah. So let's go back to our little humble abode. More like a shack slash other abode. Actually, I don't. I have no idea what to do right now. So we got a furnace. Uh, didn't really clean it, but we have a furnace. It's basically a stove and some other equipment. Um. So we'll put our coal here as our fuel. We already do have fuel in here. Charcoal works too, it just burns at a very fast rate in this game. We're gonna make some more bread. Because we kind of have an unlimited source. I mean, this is a really good starting spot. Another thing we need to do is we need to make an, a pickaxe. Or not a pickaxe, an axe, I mean. So we can do some, uh, we can make a storage for it. For eating, all I do is put the right the right mouse button and hold it down, and you just eat. Pretty much. If you continually hold it down, you'll be fine. You just continue eating and eating. So we're uh, cutting down some trees. We're, I mean, we're going to need a lot of wood. Not just one wood. Not wood. So, you know, just get the wood. probably cut the episode off after we get our home base kind of situated to a certain extent. Um, and see how you guys are doing with it. So, with the trees, since I had to explain it earlier, if you just cut out the top, this, the leaves here will go away. They'll uh, be dead, be spawned, I guess you could say. Like you can kind of see. 
see it happening. This is all randomized. I see. So, back to our humble abode uh, once again. We're going to go inside. And we're going to craft what is called a chest. So we don't have to have a crazy inventory of a chest. Boom. Over there. Let's go ahead. Now I'm going to shift click. Boom. And then go ahead. <coughs> See, a lot of these things we just, we don't need for the moment. And we'll organize this all better <coughs> as time goes on. Oh, so our iron is done? Where's our iron ignit? Okay, let's make a sword. We're going to need one. That's that's the sword we're using. Boom. Um, we're also going to make an iron pickaxe, because we will be going caving. Uh, if we find any awesome minerals uh, right off the bat, that would be really nice. But we need our iron to get the awesome chest. And don't worry, I'm just looking at this and you're like, who the hell would have their bed right next to a furnace? That is a fire hazard. Right there is a fire hazard. Well, the plan is, is we're going to get a bigger house. This is just temporary. Um, let's go ahead and put a light in it. Go. And that's another thing. We put a, a torch that lasts forever up as a bed. This is all good questions that you're probably at asking now. I am not a house designer. I mean, I can design a Minecraft house, but... Yep, we're going to go check out this place a little bit. Let's see where the sun is at. I mean, actually, let's hold off on that. Let's get some food going. Or different types of food. Let's light some of these areas up. Oops. Let's see. Also, don't do that. NPCs, what we'll do is just ask them to kill them. So let's, let's actually look at this place. We're going to try to check and steal from them. Well, it's very possible. We always want to close the door. Oh, boy. Look at these bookcases. We can definitely use that. Oh, crafting desk. We're doing this for next time. We really have a I'm trying to break away. I think that'll have to be episodes because I don't want to last too long. But here's a door for you. Put that there and then that there. See, you know, villagers go back to sleep. The more villagers I can get, I guess. So, you can hear a door. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, access Daily Bob Burger's house here. He freaked out because he was like, somebody stole my house. I'm going to go to bed. So, this is a good spot to end our first episode. Um, we have our village. Already in front of us. And uh, we already have to do so many of the things so not we're, we're going to do some more. Um, so coming up tonight, because it is night, we have our Iron Man 3 review. I don't know if it's up today. I don't know.
how long it's going to take to render. This is playing all new to me, but we have our Iron Man 3 review coming up after midnight showing tonight, so after midnight uh, section of our channel. Um, we also have an Iron Man review coming up before the So, hopefully I'll all be up when this episode airs, so I'm a bunch on like an idiot. And we'll catch you next.